Hey y'all, welcome back to this old greenhouse. More woodworking additions. Uh, so what we've got now, the island is, is done and completed. As you can see, it's covered up. Uh, we're gonna deliver that Saturday. We've moved on now from the island to the master vanity. And what you can see here is we, Seth and I were able to get yesterday, get the carcass completely built. And if you'll notice right here, we've got a roughly a 30 inch vanity on this side where there's gonna be a quartz countertop and then there's gonna be a sink that actually sits on top of the, the uh, countertop. It's gonna be one of those and the faucet should come out of the wall. And then in the middle, we've got a set of drawers where normally there would be three drawers because of the height. What she wanted is a really deep drawer on the bottom. And as you can see, it's full extension slides, so the drawer's gonna pull out all the way. These slides will hold, th these drawers will hold 75 pounds with the slides once everything's in and whatever, so it should be okay. So what the plan is uh, from here is we've got, as you can maybe remember on the island, we had on the ends, on the front and back of the island, we had two true two by sixes, one at the front, one at the back on the island. Well, what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna get those two by sixes and put one here and put one here and then have a single door in the middle. And it's gonna give that illusion of it being very big and beefy and sitting on some really big posts. And it's gonna look like an individual cabinet instead of one solid piece. And we're gonna do the same here that we did here over on this side as well. Uh, we haven't got the two to sixes yet. They're coming tomorrow. So we'll get to clean those up with our restore tool, make them look really nice, make them look old, but still make them look nice. The doors are kind of gonna be inset inside these two two by sixes on each side. Should look really, really, really good. That's the plan for now. Looking pretty good. We'll keep you posted. Maybe we'll get some video of the moving of the kitchen island on Saturday. Yeah, that's, yeah. I have to eat my Wheaties, but we'll get it. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So anyway, all right, that's all for, for the, this old woodworking. See y'all next time, bye. Good morning, hope you guys are having a great day. So I'm headed out this morning. I'm trying to go find some remedy or something or some sort of treatment for my ears. I cannot hear. I feel like I'm underwater, especially this year. It's super annoying. I know y'all really want to know that, but that's one thing, that's one stop on my list. And the other one is I am headed back to Innovative Garden Supply and I've got to get some trays. I, I need to plant some more seeds and I'm gonna get some of the smaller trays that I can put my flats in. I've got some seed cell trays that I can put on top of it so I can bottom water and I like the shorter ones because I don't have to lift them up and I can see how much water's in there so I'm going to pick up some of those if they have some and then I need to get some more seeds those are some things I'm fixing to head out to go do and I will see you guys in a bit all right I'm back I went to the doctor had my ear looked at they didn't see anything odd about it so they said it looked really good inside so they want to send me to an ENT that was not what I was wanting to hear, but to hear, I want to be able to hear, that's for sure. I have like a sound like I'm like, you know, like when you talk into a fan, that weird sound that comes back, like, like vibration, that's what this ear feels like. And it feels like it needs a pop. So I don't know, I don't have any other symptoms. So maybe I will have to go to an ENT. I don't know, I'm about to call Monday. I'm not looking forward to that. I just want to be able to hear and everything sound normal. It's just, it, it it gets to you after a while. It's like everything's loud. But anyways, so here's the verdict on my trays. I went over there to get some trays and they were out of the trays that I normally buy. And they said that they were back ordered probably till at least August. So that is super crazy. I was gonna get some of these little smaller ones to stick these little seed cell trays that I have into. Didn't have those, they said it'd be August on those. But I have a lot of these. Um, I have had nurseries give me those and I have tons of extras. So I'm gonna use them to set down into these trays right here to bottom water. I found these, yeah, and I found these. So I got some extras because who knows, once they get out of those, are they gonna have any more? I don't know. But I got some, I also got some pepper seeds. These are the only ones they had over there. I think they'll work. Um, I just need a few for my little garden up here because I like to have like a little kitchen garden. 
I can go out and just get some peppers to cook with and things like that. So I went ahead and got my bell pepper planted. Um, I put a new date on them so I'll remember. Hopefully these will come up. These are going to be on a heat mat for a little bit and those are my new seed packets so they should be pretty good. <laughs> Seth needs that thing. That one right there. <laughs> oh, his. Dad's got the kitchen all unloaded. It actually went better than they anticipated. They had some good muscle. Um, something to hang these things up with. I really do. Um, anyways, so they're headed off to deliver it and I think they got plenty of help to get it in. The biggest factor is going to be can they get it in the door. So we'll see. And I was going to go with them but my ear is still having some issues. I figured the ride down there would be just a little too much. But I am down here because I've really, I've really got to get these seeds started. But I have these seed packets that I got the other day and I really need to get the rest of these in here because I don't want them to be too far off from my other plants. All right, I'm gonna sit my soil again in front of my fire. It is chilly today and we've had rain all week and no sun. Plant several in each one and just separate because I do that sometimes. I think I'm gonna go with another round of Amish paste. I found another packet of these. Like I said, these are great for canning. And I do I do like the I do prefer using something like this over like a beef steak. Alright, I've moved my flowers over here. <laughs> I've got stuff sitting everywhere at this point. I think I've got to go in and get a little bit of lunch. So I've got some good progress going on. Flowers here, flowers here. More flowers, more flowers up here. And then tomatoes, more tomatoes, more tomatoes. Tomatoes, bell pepper, um, my dense planting tray. Oh, and I do have celery. I have, I have actually noticed a few more celery popping up. So I'm not gonna give up on them yet. And I've got one here. And I've got one here that's new. So, oh, and I've got one right down here. Actually pretty exciting. I didn't think the celery was gonna do anything. So I'm hoping that it does. And got more stuff to plant, but I think I'm good for the day. Okay, so I had some lunch and I'm back down here again. It started to rain and I thought we were done, just when I thought we were done with rain. I spoke too soon, but it's just like a light drizzle, but not in here. It's still nice in here. I still have the stove off and it's, it's almost 70. So it feels pretty good. I'm not going to turn the stove back on until later, especially when I'm out here working. It gets pretty toasty. Um, I decided to do another tray of flowers. I still have some marigold seeds, some really pretty ones I bought from Baker, Baker's Creek. So I'm going to do one more flat of those. Y'all, my fish are watching me plant seeds today. <laughs> They're begging for food constantly. And they get plenty, trust me. Look at them. They're cute. y'all doing? Watch them come up here for my finger. <laughs> so spoiled. I love it though. They bring me peace. Peace. You gotta have a peaceful place in this world. There's a lot of 
non-peaceful things going on in this day and time. It's pretty sad. Sometimes I just don't even know what to do. Um, sometimes the only thing I can do is just pray about it. And I do that a lot. I encourage y'all to do that too. My husband's been up here eating on this tomato plant. This is an orange hat from Baker's Creek. He's eat the orange ones already. Um, these tomatoes don't turn red, they turn orange. And they have a really sweet taste. And they have been blooming and producing all winter. And I need to water it. And I have another one over here. And this is my tomato plant from the summer. It's been in here all winter producing constantly. I do self-pollinate to get the tomatoes. But it's been quite enjoyed um, by my husband as well. And Seth, they come in here. They, they stack on it. Let's give it some water. Y'all look, I got flip flops on and socks. <laughs> I don't usually show my feet, but yeah. Y'all don't usually see my feet. Sometimes I just run out real quick and don't care. I'm in my greenhouse, I can't be judged only by the fish and the plants and they can't say anything. And if they do, well, that's something. I hope I get it on camera. <laughs> Not that I'll be able to hear it real good. They could be talking right now and I don't hear it. I'm losing a little bit y'all down here acting crazy here again nobody can see it all right I'm gonna finish these flowers over here we'll finish these flowers and I'm gonna put find them a, a nook and then I'm just gonna sit here for a while enjoy the peace and quiet